every single time I shoot something on a green screen, I have a big problem, and that's this. I'm gonna show you how I'm able to key this out while keeping my logo intact. This lesson is brought to you by Ameridroid.com. If you love to learn and love to tinker, Ameridroid.com is the site for you. Single board computers, maker tech, and home automation, all from their American Support Center. Shop with a company that we know and trust. Visit Ameridroid.com today. I was perusing r slash DaVinci Resolve today and stumbled upon a question from YouTuber Plus Extra. So I checked out his channel and turns out he's brand new on YouTube and I'm all about helping new YouTubers, new content creators whenever they have trouble. That's exactly what the show show is all about. I don't pretend to be the go-to source for all things video editing, but I know some things, I've learned some things, and as I learn things, I love to share it. And so I'd like to help uh, this YouTuber today. So I'm gonna show you real quick what's in, what he's encountering. You see his microphone, how it has the EY? That's actually part of the screen behind him because as his microphone pulses in and out of colors, these are RGB lights, uh, it hits green and suddenly because he's on a green screen, it keys out and you can see the text behind the microphone. So you, the microphone basically goes invisible. Then it goes back to other colors that are not green and then it's gonna go invisible again. But the problem that he's encountering most of all is when he wears something like this shirt, for example, that falls toward the green spectrum and then he's got green in his hat. That's a problem. Um, we're gonna address all of these issues. I'll show you really, really quickly what Plus Extra is encountering. I'm gonna bring up my qualifier, switch to 3D as I've shown here on the show show in the past. And let's just remove that background really quick and dirty. And there we go. And so now you can see that we've got a little bit of a bleed on the edge. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna despill, right? Watch his shirt in particular. Ready, go. Now we've pulled all the green. We've got rid of the, de uh, the spill, but his shirt is now, it's not the right color, that logo. All right, watch his hat. This is important, that's his logo. Despill and it pulls the green from the hat. That's a big problem. So I'm gonna help uh, him fix this issue today. I'm hoping that this will help you as well. Um, but let's, uh, let's be really thorough here. Let's first of all talk about this microphone. That to me looks like the Quadcast S from HyperX. So I did a little hunting and I wanted to know, can you actually control, see how we're going translucent again, because he's green on the green screen. Can you con control the actual colors of the RGB lights? And sure enough, I'm gonna post a link in the description below. HyperX includes uh, software that you can download, Engenuity, which is a beta software available for Windows only, but the HyperX Engenuity is a powerful and intuitive software that'll allow you to personalize your compatible HyperX products, set button bindings, blah, 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 blah. control all you want set up lighting and effects. It allows you to control the RGB colorings of your HyperX Quadcast S. So install that. This is what I want to tell you. Pop that onto your uh, Windows computer and set your microphone so it never touches green in the spectrum. And I want to see how that affects your next videos. Now let's jump over to this. Now, um, this of course is done with the permission of Plus Extra. So he sent me this behind the scenes clip to show me um, you know, how he's shooting and see what we can do to fix this for him. So first of all, you've got a great chroma key here, buddy. Uh, this looks really, really good. I love it. You've got good lighting. You're not casting a lot of shadows. This is probably better than my own chroma key here at the studio. So that's a very good, uh, you're gonna get a good key there. Um, so let's fix it. First thing I wanna do is um, grab this video track. This is kind of interesting. I, I, this is, we're gonna have a little bit of fun here and I'm gonna show you how I do this. And again, I don't pretend to be like, I, I'm not going into fusion because I, I'm not there yet. I'm not that advanced. I'm basic. But I, I think with that, because I'm willing to show you how I would do it, I think you're gonna find that this is a really, really easy way to correct this. So I've actually duplicated this. Why? Because I'm gonna pull the green from one and then I'm gonna use masks from the other. I'm gonna show you how I do that. So I've, I've turned off this video track, so I'm only looking at the bottom video track. I've highlighted it and they are both perfectly aligned. I'm gonna go into my color correction and I'm gonna use uh, 3D qualifier. 
I've got a video that uh, previously has shown how to use this, uh, but I'm gonna pull the green from the green screen here and we're gonna do a nicer job. Um, so I'm gonna change that. Uh, I don't need to explain this because I already have Follow the links and you'll be able to uh, see this. Okay, so we've got some sp splash down here from shadows. We've got some down here from shadows. That's great. So we're getting a good key. Um, boom. And then I'm going to despill, and now his green is gone from the stuff that we want the green in. Now, next up, I'm going to go into our, uh, what is this called? They call it window. And I'm going to grab a square window and I'm going to put this up at the top left of your green screen because it's kind of on an angle. See that? And I'm going to go like that. And then I'm going to grab the right hand side. Whoa, don't want the red one. Uh, there we go. Bring that right to the edge and bring this down. All right, and right there. So basically I'm just cropping out that background where you were kind of bleeding over the edge. And so now we've got a pretty darn decent key. I want to confirm that. So I'm actually going to move these up one. I'm gonna add a solid color underneath just with my generators. And I'm gonna change that to white and go up there and now turn that one on because I moved these up, right? So I gotta fix that. So you can still see a little bit of spill down here and over here. So I'm gonna fix that, not spill, but shadows. Uh, so I'm just gonna use my clean black to fix that. So right, uh, highlight there, go into my qualifier and bring up my clean black. See how that removed those. Now we've got a perfect key, but we've lost the logo color and we've lost the shirt color and the microphone color. Happens that the microphone's in front of you, in front of the shirt that we're about to fix. So that works out in my favor. So now I'm gonna remove that white background. Whoop. I want to use my backspace, not my delete key. And then I'm going to turn back on this layer. So now we've got a layer that has all the correct colors and a layer that just has you without the background, okay? So now I'm going to turn this one back on and I'm going to highlight it and then go into my color. And now this is, again, we're, we're learning the magic of DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to start with your shirt this is going to be kind of fun. So I'm going to bring up my window. I'm going to create a circle and I'm going to put this circle down in such a way that it's going to kind of cover all of your shirt logo without going outside because we don't want it to ever touch the green. Um, and then it's got a feathered edge. See this? This is the feather. So how big do you want that feather? We don't want it huge, but we want it to be really, really clean. So you see over here what's happened is that this is only the shirt. So now if I go back to, well, first of all, if I, I don't even need to go back anywhere, I'll just add alpha output and then add it. Now notice I've removed the key because I've got that like that, but I've fixed the color of the shirt. See that? It's too damned easy. But if you move, which you're not doing any moving, so I could just, I'm, I'm happy with that. But if you did move, you're going to step outside of that and we're gonna have a problem. So we're gonna use motion tracking in order to fix that. If you were moving more than you are, then I would use tracker with this circle highlighted and just rewind to the very beginning of the video, press play and see what it's doing. It's doing this magical 3D tracking of, uh, of your shirt. Um, and I, I say 3D, actually what I've done is I've selected and I did this previously, I should have fixed this and, and mentioned it, but Typically, out of the box, you're going to have pan, tilt, zoom, rotate, and 3D enabled. We've been through this before on the show show, but because you're, you're not moving forward and backwards, I've turned off zoom, and we want to turn off rotate and 3D because you're not a drone flying through, through space. You're just sitting there uh, in front of your camera. So, so that, that has now tracked the shirt, right? So that's going to follow as the shirt moves. We're going to need that for the hat for sure. The one concern that I have with this hat is that anytime um, you look up, let's see if we can find a spot. There you go. See that? It kind of disappears. So we have a potential to accidentally reveal the green from the green screen right there. So that's going to be a risk that we're going to take, but uh, I think I have a way we can minimize that. So leaving this with pan, tilt, and none of the others. I'm gonna go back to, um, to our window and I'm gonna click this button up here to add a second circle. Now, see what it does? Isn't that cool? It's revealing whatever, but see what it did to the hat? It's revealing the, uh, the green behind. Now I'm gonna make this super small. I'm gonna bring in the feathered edge and then place this over the logo. But you'll notice 
if I put it over the entire logo, oh, you're gonna love this. See, it's revealing the green behind, okay? That's dangerous. What I love and what I think you're gonna be thankful for is when you had this logo designed or when you designed this logo, the green is at the bottom. So we can actually take this and bring it in and we don't need to have it over top of the blue. We're just gonna put it over the green like that. Bring in the feather and we're just gonna, we're gonna get that green. I don't need any of that blue. I'll just do that. And bring this down, bring this up. See that? Wonderful, right? So it looks good in, in a still frame, but we know that your head is gonna be moving all over the place. So if I start skimming, watch what happens. So skim here. Oh, he's outside. Oh, he's inside. Oh, he's outside. Oh, he, uh, 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 uh. That's where DaVinci Resolve tracking comes in. So now that I've got that positioned at the right spot, I've rewound the video all the way to the beginning and positioned it. Now I'm gonna go into my tracker and I'm gonna track. It follows it. So now, Jumping back to my video and skim, what do you see? The green stays, but the background is gone. So I think that is how I would approach this. It's super simple. This is how I'm able to quickly correct the fact that the, the logo on my shirt is green. Uh, but there we go. So now I'm gonna jump back over to your video and oh, we've got some green spill under your arm. That might be from the circle. I might have this out too wide. So I can change that like this and just kind of move it over. We don't want to get too close in because we don't want to damage the edges. But let's see if that fixed it. Yeah, that's pretty clean. That's pretty clean. That looks great. I mean, you put that in the corner of your gaming video, it's gonna be fantastic. Okay, so now I'm gonna scrub the timeline and look at the hat and look at the shirt. Oh, we stepped outside. See how we did see when you looked up. Be mindful of that as you shoot. That's one of the things as you shoot video is you kind of learn what you can and can't do. That's going to be something that you can correct if you want to kind of manipulate that spot. You can do that. I can show you how. Let's jump back to where it happens. There we go. But you don't need to be too overly anal about it. I mean, you're probably not even gonna notice it. It happens so quickly in playback. But uh, right here, I can actually just, um, I can just, uh, if I back up a little bit and set a keyframe and then move forward and bring it down just a little bit manually now, set a keyframe and then move forward. Does that work? See if I can bring this down, set another keyframe, and then skim. I don't think it got my first keyframe for some reason. So I'm gonna move that back up again. Maybe it didn't click hard enough. There we go. All right, so now at that point where it was going outside, uh, still getting it. I need to bring that down and right there. I don't know that, yeah, see, it won't let me put it because it's so, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, it's so close to this other keyframe. So, you know, you're gonna have to decide if it's really worth being that anal about it. Um, the keyframes can't be that close together, it seems. Um, so, but I mean, we're getting a really good key and that's a very, very minor, look at that. It's so minor. If I push play, that's what it looks like. So you occasionally get that little blip of green screen because of when you look up, we're hitting it but otherwise i mean that's perfect there you go so that is for plus extra but i think you may use this in your production as well it looks great that's a perfect key if you appreciate this tutorial or any of the other ones here on the show show i would be so grateful if you would please subscribe to this channel i want to create the show show in such a way that i'm helping other youtubers content creators to learn what i know about content creation and video editing but in order to do that it costs money now a subscribe click costs you nothing but remember this is a brand new channel on youtube and until i get to 1000 subscribers youtube won't let me monetize the channel please help me to create this free content by simply subscribing Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.